What's up guys, it's the Cheapster here, back with another video. So today what I'm going to be doing is taking a look at Instacart because I used to work for them. So I'm going to see now if it's a better app than what it was when I used to work for them. Also guys, if you'd like to sign up to work for Instacart yourself, I'd appreciate it if you use my referral link or code below. It really helps me out a lot. So just to give you a short history of my time with Instacart, I used to work for them back in 2017 in Columbus, Ohio. And there were many things that were different for working for them back then. For one thing, you had to have a shift to get any offers at all. If you didn't have a shift you weren't going to get any offers also any offer that came in you had to take or else you'd receive a strike which i don't understand how they did this because this really didn't seem like freelance work to me it seemed like you were more of an employee and this kind of thing led to me having to drive like 15 miles just to get to the store before even shopping and driving to the customer. And that happened a lot. Also at the beginning, you were divided up into smaller regions throughout your city. That actually made things better for me because the region I worked in tipped pretty well. So even though I had to take crazy awful offers sometimes, I did receive really great offers every now and then, so that would raise my average to pretty high. Now I made an entire review to Instacart over a year ago that I'll link down below so you can check it out. But long story short, Instacart opened the region to the entire area of Columbus and you still had to accept every offer you got. Oh, they also lowered their pay at this time too. So this led to me taking terrible, terrible orders. In parts of my city, I didn't even feel safe driving around and I was making about $6 an hour and that's even before accounting for gas. So obviously at that point, I decided I was gonna quit with a big chip on my shoulder and I felt like they had really taken advantage of their drivers at that time. So that brings me to now. So just for fun the other day, I decided to open up the app and just see how things are now. So I quickly realized I needed to re-download the app because now they have an app on the official app store instead of some sketchy website that you have to download it from and it make your phone trust it and all this kind of weird stuff. So I got it all downloaded and got on just to see what things were like now. I had heard a while back that they were rolling out this new on-demand system and I didn't really know what that was. And honestly, I was still pretty upset with how things ended and they never really apologized to me about stuff and they really just hurt me a lot and they left me with this hole in my heart that I just felt like I could never... Hold on, is this a Hallmark movie? Well, to my surprise, many things about the Instacart app had now finally changed, and after about 10 minutes of looking through it and talking things out, I could really just feel that bitterness and anger just really start to melt away inside me, and I just... Okay, who wrote this? So let's go ahead and get into some of the pros and cons of the Instacart app from what I've seen now. So the very first thing I noticed in the app when I got back on that's a huge pro is that their batches, which is what they call their offers, were compiled into a list that you could just view. This is the very first delivery app I've seen do this, and it's what I've been hoping for years that Grubhub would do. This is huge because it means you get to see everything all at once instead of having to waste time with each offer coming in individually. Also, this gives you the freedom to see all the offers at once and be able to choose the one that works best for you. Now, of course, those batches are coming and going pretty quick, so you do need to be ready to take them, but they even do have a notification system that you can turn on and off so that it will alert you when batches are coming in. The other obvious huge plus to this is that you no longer have to accept all the offers and that you can pick and choose whatever works best for you. Oh, my hair is looking weird. Also, now you can see exactly what the batch is before you even accept it. This used to be completely hidden until you even got to the store to shop. But now you can see the exact locations of the store and house to deliver to, the exact pay, the current tip, how many items are on the batch, what exactly each item is on the batch, and how many of each item is even on the batch. All before you even accept the batch. So this is huge, because this is not at all how it used to be. Also, from what I can see in my region, batches seem to be pretty high paying on average. I regularly have seen batches come in that are pretty close to me that would take about an hour to complete and are paying about 30 plus dollars. Another huge pro is that Instacart now lets you work pretty much anywhere that Instacart's available. Like I said, I worked in Ohio, and now that I've moved to South Carolina, I figured I'd have to change my region to be able to see stuff here. To my surprise, all I had to do is let them see my location and bam there it was I was in South Carolina ready to work this is honestly a huge plus especially if you visit family for long periods of time or if you're a college student and you move around areas from different times throughout the year most delivery apps are headed this way just being open to being able to deliver wherever you want so it's good to see them on board with this now can we just get Grubhub to take the hint another good pro that I've seen at least in my area is that shifts don't seem to matter I haven't even seen a shift come available once on the app but in my area I've seen the batches come in so it doesn't even seem like a shift really matters. Now this could be different based on what region you're in, but for me, this is a huge pro for flexibility for the app. Since you don't need shifts, batches come in on a list that you can accept or not accept whatever you want. I would say that Instacart actually takes the award for the most flexible delivery app out there right now. Not to mention that their app design flows really well and it's really simple to use with all the information you need at your fingertips. But now let's go ahead and get into some of the cons of it. So it still looks like I see a lot of orders are pretty far away. I'm still seeing terrible orders to drive 
15 miles for $7. Of course, now though, you can just not accept those and wait for better orders to come in. Another kind of con is that they still have ratings for drivers. So that's a pro or con, I guess, depending upon how you look at it. That kind of just adds another layer of difficulty that drivers have to deal with trying to get good ratings. Because we all know that you can do a great job and a customer can just be mad about something that had nothing to do with you. But I will say, based on looking at their rating system, it does look like Instacart's trying to make sure they weed out those ratings that are bad for things that weren't the driver's fault. So maybe it is a pro in the end, because if you really are trying to do a good job, you'll get recognized for it. And the other con, which I think this was a pretty big one, is that customers can change their tip for one day. Now, this obviously could be a good thing, because this could mean that the customer wants to tip more because you did a better job. But as always with these things, it makes me nervous that you see a really big tip that a customer leaves just so that you'll go complete the batch, and then the next day, they remove the tip so that you don't get it. So hopefully Instacart protects somewhat against this, so that customers aren't just constantly canceling the tip so that you're taking orders you're not happy with. But this being something that's possible is obviously a concern of mine. But that's really it for the cons. I really don't have much bad to say about Instacart now. Honestly, the whole setup of things right now seems to be a really good balance between the driver and the customer both being satisfied. And that is a very hard thing to do, so I'm really happy to see how they've made the app. Almost every single negative thing I said about Instacart in my review before is now fixed. So I will definitely be doing some Instacart soon, and I'll have some videos showing how it goes, so look out for that. Also, again, if you'd like to sign up for Instacart yourself to do deliveries, don't forget to use my referral link or code below. I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Definitely a crazy change on what my perspective was on Instacart before and how I'm kind of viewing it today. But yeah, guys, go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and see how it works in your area because from what I can see, I would say that this is probably one of the best delivery apps out there right now, at least from what I'm seeing in my region. So thank you guys. If you like the video, go and do the cheapest thing you can today. Tap that like button. Also subscribe wow. to the channel for more videos about this and for my upcoming videos about Instacart where I'm going to be doing some uh, vlog style Instacart delivery. So thanks again, guys. And remember, stay cheap. That's cheap. You still haven't subscribed? Oh my God.